Throughout my life, I've been switching between Apple and Windows computers, and I was looking for ways to make them more similar. So I got a MacBook Pro for my studies, which I love very much, but I needed more power for heavy programs and editing, stuff like that, so I built a custom Windows machine. If you're a longtime subscriber, you probably already know this. So maybe you are a hardcore Mac user, but have to use Windows 10 at work. Or you like the design and functionality of macOS, but don't want to pay a premium price for it. Whatever the reason may be, uh, here are some tips and tricks how you can make Windows 10 more like macOS. With that, I do want to say that I respect both operating systems and their user interfaces. That's why I won't be using any rain meter, um, rocket dog, do any patching or any stuff that might drastically change the OS or potentially damage it. This video will include mostly free programs that I use myself, which provide macOS functionalities and features for Windows 10. And for you Linux lovers, I see you. Hi there, my name is Felix and this is how to create it with everything you need to create. Let's dive right into it. So as you might have seen in the thumbnail, these are some of the features you will have at the end of the video. The first tip is an invisible centered taskbar. The macOS dock is a very signature element of Apple's OS and therefore brings a lot of functionality and design. I have made a video on how to get a clean desktop which is very into detail about the desktop itself. If you have not seen that video, I highly recommend you to watch that after this video. One thing I changed after making that video is the program Taskbar X made by Chris, which I believe is also from the Netherlands. I highly recommend you to install his program Taskbar X that allows you to change the look and feel of the taskbar and automatically center the items. You can download Taskbar X for free on his GitHub, but you can also support his work and buy it for a couple bucks in the Microsoft Store. I personally have been a huge fan of this program and think it's a must-have for every PC. You can also choose between different background effects, just make sure to create a task schedule so it automatically runs at startup. Secondly, on macOS, you also have dock items that can be folders. On Reddit, I found a free application that provides just that for Windows. Shout out to this user that created this amazing little program for free. With that in mind, it is still in a very early stage. Download version 2 on GitHub and paste the folder in your program files. Click on the taskbargroups.exe and you can create your own application folders. Just click add a taskbar group, name the group, change the icon that will be visible in the taskbar and find the shortcuts of the application you would like to include. Now click on your group and right click on your created shortcut. Click on pin to taskbar and it should work like this. You can also change the transparency accordingly. Furthermore, I am currently using an official macOS Big Sur wallpaper that I have customized in Wallpaper Engine. You can, however, download the free program Win Dynamic Desktop in the Microsoft Store, which basically gives you a dynamic macOS wallpaper. Something I like very much in macOS is the transparency in the UI. Did you know you can turn on transparency effects in Windows? You can do this by right-clicking Start, Settings, Personalization, Colors, and there you can turn it on. Although this is not extremely functional, it does improve the look and feel of Windows 10. Something that also improves the look of Windows 10 is Dark Mode. Just above the Transparency Effects slider, you can choose your color and put it to Dark. This way the UI prefers Dark theme if the application has it available. This does also affect certain web pages. For example, my hand-coded website howtocreative.com. Something super weird is that Windows still has not provided a dark mode for file transfer, task manager, etc. I also recommend you to use the custom accent color as the dark is available, which is dark gray. Somehow Windows does not allow you to get a completely black accent color. When I first started using Windows, I changed the cursor to look like the macOS cursor because I like it a lot. This is how you do that. Go to the link in the description and download the cursor pack. Go to your primary drive, select the Windows folder and now you can find the cursor folder and paste the extracted cursor folder that you downloaded from my website here. Right click on start, click settings, go to devices, mouse and click additional mouse options. This should open up a new window, go to the pointers tab and select the pointer. Click Browse and find the matching cursor in the macOS cursor folder and then click Apply. 
You can do this for all different types of cursors and then save it as a scheme. macOS also has an inverted mouse scroll wheel. I personally like macOS's mouse scroll and got used to it. However, I could not find a single way to change the mouse scroll direction in Windows 10, so I'm using the Logitech program settings to adjust this. Now we can get to my favorite macOS feature, Spotlight. I do not exaggerate when I say that I use this feature all the time. On Mac, when you press the command key and spacebar at the same time, a search bar appears in the center of the screen and you can quickly search a program or document. This makes it very easy to quickly launch applications or files. Well, you can actually do this on Windows 10 by pressing the Windows key and then typing, I love how easy and accurate Spotlight is. To use this on Windows, you have to get Power Toys. Power Toys is actually a set of freeware utilities developed by Microsoft. Power Toys has a lot more settings and features for power users that are absolutely essential for Windows 10 in my opinion. The program includes a lot of interesting features, like the quick color picker, which is also a great feature on macOS. After installing Power Toys, simply press the Windows key together with Shift and C and you get a nice little overlay near your mouse with the color and color code. And when you click a color, it will show all the details of that specific color. It does also remember your previous color picks. Power Toys also provides fancy zones. When you drag a window and hold shift at the same time, you can create custom layouts. It also provides a file explorer add-on in which you can preview SVG files in the explorer. It comes with a simple image compressor and most importantly, a keyboard manager, which lets you swap the control and alt key. This is very handy when you have gotten used to the muscle memory of the command key position on an Apple keyboard. All right, back to the next functionality tip, which is Quick Look. Another great feature on macOS that you can easily implement on Windows 10. Quick Look allows you to quickly view documents by pressing the spacebar in Finder. For this to work on Windows, you can download the application, well, you guessed it, Quick Look. It simply allows you to preview photos, music, PDF documents and almost any file in a blink of an eye. I would seriously reconsider using Windows if this program didn't exist. Talking about the file explorer in Windows, I do really love the simplicity of macOS's Finder. To get something remotely similar, download files from the Microsoft Store. It does work a lot more like Apple's Finder and looks way better in general. But with that, it is actually slower and does not have as many features as the default file explorer that you can also quickly launch by pressing Windows E that I've gotten very used to. However, the program is very similar to Apple's Finder and even shows a preview of the file you have selected just like in Finder. And did I already say it works flawlessly with Quick Look? Well, it does and it is amazing. The next tip is for creators like me that move from macOS to Windows. You probably noticed that your external hard drives might not work on Windows. This is because Apple uses their own APFS drive format. Be sure to format your hard drives to FAT32 before using the drive so you can use it with Windows and macOS. If you already have an external drive with an APFS format, and you would like to use this APFS drive to work on Windows, just install a program like Paragon's APFS for Windows. This to still be able to access those drives on your Windows machine. Do keep in mind that this is not a free program. This brings me to another interesting feature, Apple's macOS allows you to compress and decompress files by zipping and unzipping them within seconds. Windows 10 unfortunately does not come with a standard archive utility. Therefore, I do recommend you to get 7-Zip, which is a really small free program that allows you to open zip files as regular folders and easily lets you compress files as well. A quick tip for you guys, in macOS you can take screenshots by pressing Command-Shift-4, which allows you to select the part of the screen you want to screenshot. This same feature can be used in Windows 10 by pressing Windows-Shift-S. You're welcome. Another great design trick is Modern Flyouts. This application, which is only available in the Microsoft Store, replaces the standard Windows 10 notification pop-ups. It also shows you media controls and the album cover from Spotify, for example. You can also have it pop up when you activate the caps lock key. It generally looks and works a lot better. Another great free program is Notepads. 
You can download Notepads in the Microsoft Store as well, which is created by an official Microsoft developer. This significantly increases the look and functionality of your notes on Windows 10 and also supports multi-tab, which is amazing. One downside though, you won't be able to open a text document above a size of 1 megabyte. This might change in the future though. Lastly, I also recommend Windows Terminal instead of Windows 10 default CMD. Windows Terminal is a great looking, powerful and efficient terminal application that can run multiple command line apps in multi-tapped windows. This is also developed by Microsoft. It's basically a huge upgrade from Windows's default CMD. Bonus tip, if you like this whole transparency thing and you use Visual Studio Code, be sure to install the extension called Vibrancy. Go to settings, click color theme and select dark plus. Now press F1 and type Reload Vibrancy. This should restart the application and now look at that. Also works on macOS, by the way. All right, that's about it for now. I'm still working on new videos, including the best applications for Windows and Mac and my favorite browser extensions. If that is something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. And for any suggestions and or questions, put them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. Stay creative.